And welcome back to another TF2 weapon tutorial. It's been a little bit since I've made one of these, and the only one I've actually made is now outdated. But hey, I've decided to get back into it and make tutorials for all the new careers up TF weapons that have been added into the game. And we'll probably make new ones for the weapons that'll be most likely added in the future, hopefully. Anyways, today we're going to be talking about the Wasp Launcher, which is a primary weapon that was added in the classical update. It's a very simple weapon, with its only upside being a plus 20% explosion radius, which is technically unique to any other launcher. Uh, for clarification, no other launcher in this game has a bigger explosion radius, only a smaller one, like the direct hit in Airstrike. Its downsides are a minus 10% damage penalty and a minus 15% slower projectile speed, which sucks. But not as much as you'd think. Just like its stats, using this weapon is fairly simple. It's just like stock, but with a bigger explosion radius and slower rockets. Oh, and slightly less damage, which is probably the worst thing about this weapon. Sure, the damage downside doesn't seem that big, and in most scenarios it really isn't. But in clutch situations where you need more damage against beefier classes like demos, soldiers, and heavies, you're going to find that you're struggling a bit more with this weapon if you can't make use of its upside. Speaking of that upside, it's amazing. 20% explosion radius turns out to feel huge, and you can hit some insane shots around corners that stock just can't compete with. Seriously, it doesn't sound like a huge upside, but in practice it turns out to be really effective. Sure, you're held back by a painful damage downside, but it can still be viable in pubs, and that's really the only place you can use it, so... Whatever. Oh, and the last thing, the projectile speed, this one also sucks, and honestly... If the weapon didn't have the damage downside, I'd think it'd still be balanced because this downside is actually really fair. The slower rocket speed makes it harder to hit directs, but the splash damage ends up making up for that in a lot of scenarios. But when you're trying to fight bombing soldiers and other airborne classes that you need to hit directly, it ends up being worse than stock, because those shots are much harder to hit midair. So yeah, I genuinely think it's a safe bet to remove the damage penalty and see how it works that way. I think it'd still be balanced. But, uh, can't really tell if it will or won't be if I don't test it, so hey, why don't we try it? And if it's not balanced, I ain't tell you any of this, okay? Don't blame me. Something important to note with all soldier primaries is what secondary weapon you want to accompany it. Some are universally amazing, like the shotgun and gunboats, so I won't really go over those. But one class of secondaries I think is better with this weapon are the banners. Since you have a bigger blast radius, spamming into groups to build charge is actually viable with this thing. Sure, you'll be doing slightly less damage, but you should be able to hit more people in turn making up for that damage loss. Weapons like the buff banner make it actually worth it since your team gets free mini crits and you have a rocket launcher that people can barely dodge, making this thing actually terrifying to go up against while the banner is active. The battalion's backup is also really good just on its own, and while it doesn't really synergize well with the wasp, it does perform well enough to make it viable on most launchers anyway. Conch, on the other hand, I don't personally like it, but it is fine since you get a nice speed boost and health regen that makes dueling other classes really nice. And it takes less damage to charge, which is also pretty cool. I don't like it though, so, you know, your your experience may vary. Overall, I think the Wasp Launcher is a fine addition to the Soldier's Arsenal. Sure, it might be a little bit weaker than other launchers. Sure, it may be weaker than other launchers, but it's still both decent and fun to use in most creators.tf pubs. I would highly recommend picking this thing up and giving it a try, especially while grinding the battle packs. Yeah, that's all I really have to say on the weapon. Thank you for watching. Hope you uh, hope you learned something while watching this video. And uh, I'll see you next time where I uh, attempt to talk about the hypodermic injector, which just keeps getting reworked for some fucking reason. They literally reworked as I'm recording the script. Why? It was fine before, why did you change it? What is wrong with you? <laughs>